Hi there. You have seen the title Robotalic. It's referring to these robots that use smart materials like biometallic strip in this case. What you see here is the first version. It's a proof of concept Robotalic robot that I call the 50 cent Robotalic robot. It weighs around 10 grams, 9 grams of it is just a coin. And you can see the muscle contract when heat is applied, thus creating motion. I'm also demonstrating here the strength of, the, of this method and this material as it can drag more than 27 times its own weight. It's crazy. I encourage you to go to visit my website and read about the whole thing as I've written there everything in much more details. Okay, next clip here you will see the same video but faster so that you can see the motion better and much clearer. There. It's pretty awesome stuff. What you're seeing now is the second iteration of the Robotalic robot. I assumed that I wanted to make a simple design for this and I came up with this so that I can prove the concept for the next step. Here is the size comparison, you see this is a 10 real, it's very small, and comparison to it a normal lithium 3 volt battery. So the robot is very small. You can see here the mechanism of the leg, let me explain a little bit about it. We have a lower and upper muscle. The lower muscle controls the foot and the upper muscle controls the whole leg. Uh, you can see here when I apply heat to the lower muscle, it contracts and thus uh, lift up the leg, creating motion. Same goes with the upper muscle. Let me just apply a little bit heat there. Exactly, you can see it contracts and that's basically how it works. As you can see in this clip, the robotalic second irritation while it's moving, um, I'm basically having a little bit of technique, which muscle to heat first so that I can create this motion. Uh, it takes a bit a longer time to actually do this, but it, it works and it not looks great. It was it was a proof concept to, to make sure that I'm going to the right direction. So what you see here is the third version of Robotalic, a real time footage while I was testing the lower muscle. You see here I'm testing the leg by passing um, a current through the smart material and due to resistance there is heat with heat it stretches the material and that's how we basically get motion. I was just here testing and make sure that things works as they should be. You see sometimes the smoke going out of the wires due to high current, but it's working, it's fine. What I'm trying to do here is tracking the fit of the robot so that you can see the motion that created by the algorithm. Um, you can see here the motion that will give us walking. So yes, this is basically how it walks next clip will be a little bit faster so that we can see the motion better okay here's just um, a faster clip of course different settings of the algorithm will give you different results speed how, how long it stretches and so on finally in this clip we can see the robot moving along a straight path a different algorithm of course may give you different results different motions different speeds different stretches and all that stuff it covers around 2 centimeters in about 30 seconds. It's not the fastest. Still in testing, but this is the result that we have for now. Uh, you can see here uh, some of the heat maps that I've, uh, some pictures of them that I've taken while the robot was walking. We reach up to 105C with an average, that's the max, with an average of 67C, which is pretty good. I leave you now with this random walking clip. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.